A healthy home is the cornerstone of our physical, mental and social well-being. Yet at least one in ten people in the UK are living in substandard homes. They are twice as likely to have poor health, costing the NHS and wider society at least £18 billion every year. In a misguided attempt to meet the need for more homes, the government has authorised developers to sidestep planning requirements. Permitted development rights allow disused office blocks and former industrial or agricultural buildings to be converted into homes with greatly reduced scrutiny. Converted homes don't have to meet minimum rules on structural safety, damp, accessibility or even overheating. Such homes have been dubbed slums of the future. They can be unsafe, dark, cramped and located in isolated sites or alongside fume-filled major roads with no services like schools and GP surgeries nearby. Residents describe the experience as living in an island with nothing. Poor quality homes are also being built and maintained under current planning policies and regulations. Inadequate insulation exposes occupants to intrusive noise from neighbours and creates poor thermal control. 70,000 people have died due to excess cold since 2013. New homes are not legally required to meet national space standards. Two million children in England live in overcrowded accommodation with little to no personal space. Over 300,000 share beds with family members. And despite our ageing population and over 11 million disabled people in England, 91% of homes don't have the most basic accessibility features to keep people safe and healthy. We are calling for the built environment sector to commit to the Healthy Homes Pledge and all political parties to establish a statutory duty that requires the sector to protect people from harm and positively promote our health and well-being. Support the Healthy Homes Pledge.